Hi. There's no makeup. I'm waking up. I'm doing my breakfast. The not paid. Not paid. Um, I found this yesterday at the grocery store. And, uh, it's vegan. So, for those of you who might not be aware, I have a condition in my esophagus called esophagic esophagitis. I think I can finally say it after three years. Long story short, it is an abundance of white blood cells that collect. And when you eat foods that trigger it, they multiply and multiply and multiply to the point that it can actually like swell shot. I've had several emergency room trips where they, you know, fix things. I've had the scope thing done. It's not that bad. Don't worry about it, people. I do it awake. Okay. Um, they try to give me the thing, and I'm like, girl, your two milligrams of Ativan ain't gonna do shit for the four milligrams or whatever the heck it is. I take a clonazepam a day. Anyway, not the point. It's not that bad. It lasts 30 seconds. Don't be afraid of it if anybody needs to get that done. It's not a bad thing. However, you can only get it done so many times. So, in January, when I saw my gastroenterologist, we changed my whole diet. So that's why everything I say is gluten-free or whatever. So this is the new diet and it's called the elimination diet. So we tried in January what's called the elimination diet. So we eliminated all of the things that could be potential triggers. And one of them that I didn't know about and that even my doctor said it's a recent thing they figured out, it's soy. Soy is a trigger. Um, so we eliminated gluten. We eliminated... Alright, so... So my new diet is now gluten-free, preservative-free. That one I knew. That one I knew since I was diagnosed, you know, the first time three years ago. I, you know, restaurant stuff ain't happening. It never really was before anyway, but not the point. So it's gluten-free, preservative-free, dairy-free, soy-free, egg-free. I also don't eat red meat because I personally realized that about a year and a half ago that it helps. And, well... Again, when you have a hard time swallowing stuff, the drier it is, it's hard. So I'm glad that I found a mayo that I can, you know, put in my diet. Again, it does have soy in it, but I've realized, and I did talk about this with my GI, and he agreed that it is a thing. Highly refined soy products aren't a trigger. It's just the poorly refined ones. So read up on that. And this is okay. So we're going to try it out. I don't know if it's good or not. I don't know. And they joke about any kind of condiments as that it's food lube. It helps things go down. However, I've always been a fan of ketchup since I was a kid. I put ketchup on everything. So I make a sandwich with this. I'll let you know if it's good or not. Why is everything childproof? Ugh. There you go. Don't need no man. Hellman's Vegan. It says, I'll well, read the French. Our recipe is made with carefully chosen and blended ingredients. Lift and transform your favorite sandwiches and salads. Well, not just marketing. Eggless, cholesterol free, gluten free. <clears throat> For more information, you can visit hellmans.ca if you want to know more information. It's certified vegan gluten-free and non-gmo ingredients so they have i'm happy with that i'm gonna go for it um when it comes to consistency so when it comes to the consistency of this it doesn't really look like mayo kind of it has more of the consistency of like whipped cream cheese. I don't know if you can see in there. The peaks are like standing up their own. I'm not worried about that because again, I took a bite of my sandwich. It tastes fine. I, I'm happy. I mean, does it taste like real mayo? I, I guess. I mean, I don't know. For me, this is a great alternative and I'm happy that I found it. Not sponsored, just simply saying I'm happy that I found something I can eat. 